All right, so here we are. We're in the middle of binding vote season. It's a confusing time for everybody, I understand. So I got a little whiteboard marker. I got a whiteboard. Howard Terminal, minimalist. I'm gonna attempt to draw out what I think are the important moments in the Howard Terminal timeline right now. So let's get started. The first thing, the absolute first thing on my calendar right now, that is 6-2, June 2nd. That is when the BCDC will have a public meeting. They're gonna discuss Howard Terminal and whether or not to remove port priority use designation. The more important date though, coming up is 6.30. That's when the commissioners are gonna actually vote. Remember the A's need 18, 18 votes from the commissioners in order to lock down the approval to remove port priority use from Howard Terminal. Remember, port priority use removal is important because without it, they can't build there. The vote will be to decide if they need that piece of property for the port. Now, what comes after that? The most important thing after that would be summer recess from Oakland City Council. That's gonna be mid-July. Now, the reason I'm putting that on the calendar here is because mid-July is when they're gonna go on recess. The A's really wanna vote. They want a vote before that summer recess. I don't think they're gonna get it. The reason I don't think they're gonna get it is because they still haven't come to an agreement with the city on their development agreement and their community benefits agreement. Until you have that paperwork signed and agreed upon, how can the city council possibly be expected to vote? So July will probably come and go. The city council will go on their recess I don't think they're going to have a vote by then, but if they did, that would be huge news. Those are very important binding votes. What I think could happen, though, if they don't get it in the window that summer recess is, I think we could get Las Vegas renderings. Now, that would be a pretty bold leverage play by the A's, but I wouldn't be surprised because it sounds like they're getting pretty close on the renderings. I don't know if the renderings will be quite as good as my rendering that I just drew on this whiteboard, but you know, they'll probably be all right. Uh, if they can figure out a way to lock down that Tropicana site, put out some renderings, I think that will probably create a little bit of leverage. However, however, you might note that whenever the A's have played a strong Vegas hand to build the parallel paths and create leverage, it's backfired. It's, it's really, really backfired for the A's because they don't like the heat that they get as a result. The fans do not like hearing about that parallel path and the A's are in midseason. So what comes next? If they get through the city recess, what'll happen is September. September is when they come back in session and on September 6th, there's a city council session planned. It's a study session. So what I think they'll do is they'll hold the study session. They'll go over all the information pertaining to Howard Terminal. Hopefully by then they'll have a development agreement and a community benefits agreement signed. Something that everybody agrees upon. Something that everybody in Oakland and the A-side find palatable to get this project built. So that could mean, that could mean we would have final binding votes sometime between September and November. And I'm gonna put November down here, November 8th, as a matter of fact, as the absolute deadline to get this figured out. And the reason I'm gonna say that is, guess what? 11-8 is election day, people, election day. The mayor is on the ballot in Oakland. That means at least three city council members are running for that mayoral position. That means they won't be city council members anymore. That means Libby Schaff will be termed out of office. That means that the A's are gonna lose somebody who has probably been the biggest champion of this project on the Oakland side in Mayor Libby Schaff. She really wants to see how her terminal get built. She's worked very hard at it. She's basically been a CEO of the project. So if they lose her, there's going to be a lot of uncertainty. You're going to have a lame duck city council that's going to be sitting there through January. You're going to be bringing in new city council members that aren't fully studied up on the project. I think it's going to create massive chaos. So they really need to get this study session figured out on 9-6. They need to get everything voted on before election day. That's my hard deadline. If it doesn't happen, it's going to be trouble. Now, we know that there's lawsuits and the A's have 
sequel litigation. They get they get an expedited review on these lawsuits. I guess 270 days is expedited. Um, 270 days from when the lawsuits would file would be right about the end of the year, December 30th. That's a Friday. So let's call that lawsuit season. Season. So that would be where you'd probably have results on the lawsuits. That takes us right up to the end of the year. If they can get all approvals before the end of the year, and there are a bunch of other state lands approvals and other things that need to happen throughout this window before they can actually break ground, I'd say you're looking at about a year and a half before shovels can come out. Shovel talk, if, man, shovel talk would be crazy. So anyways, I've been calling this binding vote season all along. I call it that because what happens with this process, I firmly believe we'll have an answer whether or not the A's will be staying in Oakland by the end of this calendar year. I firmly believe that. And if we don't have that answer, who knows what's gonna happen. But binding vote season is this year, this season of baseball. It means way more than what's taking place on the field with the Oakland Athletics. Here it is. One last look. at my Howard Terminal time.